Hi, uh, my name is Joe Summers. I'm the vicar of the Episcopal Church of the Incarnation. Um, I've been the vicar there for the past 20 years. Um, it's a small, welcoming and affirming congregation located just outside of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my own journey. Um, my parents came out of the Mid-South. They were both from evangelical backgrounds. And that at one point led me to become involved in the Charismatic Renewal, which was a very conservative movement at the time. Um, and in the process of being involved with that group, I internalized a lot of uh, very negative ideas about same-sex relationships. And this meant that um, my best friend in college, uh, one night, she said, Joe, I've got something to tell you. And, uh, and in that split second when she said that, I suddenly realized um, she's going to tell me she's a lesbian. And in that moment, I realized uh, either I could hold on to what I thought I knew about same-sex relationships or, um, or I had to let it go to affirm the reality of this person I knew and loved deeply. Um, and fortunately, I found the grace to let go of the idea that I knew anything. So, uh, and it ended up that uh, after that, I ended up moving in with her and her partner. Um, we lived in Washington, D.C. at that point. And I actually found a lot of healing for myself living kind of on the margins of the lesbian community in, in Washington, D.C. Um, and since that time, for me, um, LGBT equality uh, and my faith journey has very much gone hand in hand. Uh, I found dealing with sexuality issues has been a door that forces you to be open and honest, truthful about who you are. Um, that's a door that helps you to be um, have to face reality and deal with things as they are rather than kind of the mental constructions people create. I get, and, and so for me, um, what began as a journey of having to acknowledge and affirm the truth I knew about one person became a door through which um, ended up really transforming me and my understandings of the Christian faith. Um, and that process has continued more and more so that today, I mean, I read the Bible in a very, very different way than I did 20 years ago. And I think that's not just me personally, um, that's happening throughout the country. Uh, as by focusing on issues of sexuality, we really pay attention to what, what the scriptures are really say and what they don't say. One of the things that's really striking to me, I went to seminary 20 years ago, and uh, in seminary, basically, um, we weren't taught any of the things that I've been subsequently learning about how sexuality issues are dealt with in the Bible. Um, what's very striking is that every miracle story in the Gospels is not just a story about some kind of healing, but represents Jesus' rejection of some aspect of the purity code, um, some aspect of the way uh, the religion of his time was being interpreted to exclude one group or another group of people. So um, one of the things we do in our congregation is kind of read the, read the Gospels for what they say and the good news that there's no more purity code, there's no more in-group, out-group. Uh, most people in our congregation are people who at one time or another swore they were never going to go to a church again. Um, but in our community, they've found a place of healing, a place of affirmation, a place which gives them strength to advocate for others uh, and for peace and justice in a more inclusive society.